"'Twas the night before Yuletide in old Hogwarts Hall. And the house elves had decked the place out wall to wall. The Gryffindor stockings were hung up with care. And even the Slytherins had done their fair share. All Hufflepuffs nestled all snug in their beds. While visions of charm work filled Ravenclaw's heads. And nearby the Nomad and Muggles all slept. The statues of secrecy, so far well kept. As fate would have it, such peace could not last, just as it could not with dark wizards long past. A noise from outside jostled us from our dreams. Light flashed through the curtains, all bright reds and greens. Away to the windows, together we dashed, and round us the castle awoke in a flash. Then what to our wandering eyes did appear? But a host of strange beasts rode together like steer. Behind them, a motorbike partially hid. I knew in a moment it must be Hagrid. More rapid than Zuu, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Fluffy! Now, Buckbeak! Now, blast ended Scroot! On, Mosag! Back, Norbert! Don't make me fetch Newt! Go, all of you forward, and to the Great Hall! Now, dash away! Dash away! Dash away all! As leaves take to air with Bombarda's loud blast, or the spell with a swish and a flick is well cast, so up the astronomy tower they flew, with a sidecar of toys coming fully in view. And then, for a moment, we heard on the roof the scratching and scraping of claw, paw, and hoof. While we raced in a rush to the puzzle-like stairs, down the hallways came Hagrid with all of his wares. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his long coat was tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of gifts he had flung on his back, which he wielded with ease, never needing to slack. His eyes, how they twinkled! His dimples, how merry! His coat lapel gleamed with a decorative fairy. A poffle of puffskin, all swayed to and fro, when he shook himself briefly to brush off the snow. He ushered us in with a broad-handed wave, and the first to step forward was surely most brave, because any foul beast could be Hagrid's best friend, but that was just part of his charm in the end. He was larger than life with his bright pink umbrella, and his laughter was catchy, the right jolly fella. A wink of his eye and a tug of his beard soon set to rest all I had hastily feared. We went right to work, and we each got our gift, and then, as he left, we ran after him swift. He mentioned calamity when we did chat, then quickly amended. I shouldn't have said that. Retreat at that point was quite awkward, I fear, and his words will stick with me this upcoming year. But I heard him shout back with a grin from his bike. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to all, and all wizards you yeah. yeah. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, that was terrible. He's backwards again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, and all always a <laughs> And all. and all. Okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, and, and all, all wizards unite. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a blooper reel, so. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I think I'm done. Hey, Alexa, play Careless Whisper. <laughs>